Hello, and welcome to a credit talk where I give you a little nugget of uh, highlight from an accreditation standard that just might apply to your healthcare organization. My name is Tom Goddard. I'm the founder and chief executive officer of Integral Healthcare Solutions, your destination for all your healthcare accreditation consulting needs. The accreditation standard I'll be covering in this video is CPE 4-1, the consumer complaint process, from the Specialty Pharmacy and Mail Service Pharmacy Accreditation Programs version 4.0. The consumer complaint process is a, uh, is a long-standing element of your act standards. Uh, this version of it requires that you have the following six key components to your complaint process. You've got to have a mechanism for receiving and recording all expressions of dissatisfaction about the organization's services, regardless of, of whether they're resolved immediately or not. You've got to have a mechanism to ensure a timely response to all expressions of dissatisfaction. You've got to provide either written or verbal notification to the complainant of the resolution of the complaint. You've also, and this is an important one to remember, it's often forgotten, you've also got to advise the consumer about any available avenues of appeal beyond that resolution, whether those avenues are internal to your organization or to some external a uh, agency uh, like, uh, let's say, a regulatory body at the state level. You've got to have that and you've got to have it documented. That's the fifth requirement. You've got to have documentation sufficient to have recorded all of those previous four items, those four activities, receiving, responding, notification of resolution, and the advice about uh, avenues of appeal. And then the sixth piece of this is you've got to periodically report an analysis of your complaints to the Quality Management Committee or equivalent. Don't forget to um, make sure that the documentation includes advice about further appeal avenues. That's uh, missed more frequently than any other piece of this. Anyway, that's it for this nugget. Thanks for joining me on a credit talk. For my full interpretive guide for this standard, click on, click on the link below this video in the YouTube channel. And if you want to talk with me personally about how Integral Healthcare Solutions might be able to help your organization get accredited, uh, click on the link below and uh, it'll, you'll be able to schedule an appointment that works with your schedule. Thanks and um, hope you're doing well.